Y nos va a dar otra introducción. Leah Marche, from the very, from the very beautiful and creative imagination of Leah Marche. Here's some more poetry, some more slam poetry. Listen, it'll. <laughs> All right, give it up to that band. That was awesome. All right, this last piece I'm gonna do. It's um, I guess it's just about it's about thinking outside the box and trying to not be stuck. Some are as large as 10 acres. Others slightly over five. That's 264 feet by 900 feet of addresses. A standard U.S. city block be it D.C., Harlem, South Central, or New Orleans. Many of these rectangles house resident evil, ghetto zombies who are locked into thinking this is my block. They rely on glocks and dead-end dreams as if they're playing out scenes from make-believe games like Grand Theft Auto Matan, slowly attempting to amass 40 acres of fiction, but little do they know they are the mule. Too stubborn to realize the only block they truly own is the one above the neck, yet they're too afraid to use it. So caught up on claiming corners when the only corners that matter are those of the mind. See, thinking outside the block is always more appropriate than 25 to life. But how do you treat this street schizophrenia, this disorganized thinking? If poetry saves lives, then let's lobby for lyrical lobotomies because it's time to get some minds right. Have people hearing voices in their head that will start them on a journey of better choices so wherever they wind up, they can say I've been around the block and like hip hop, I won't stop. But see, we've got to end these 187 ride or die and death jam vendetta mentalities. Replace blades with pins, guns with mics, drive-bys with shooting stars. Make them see that death wishes won't get them far, that dreams are words just waiting to come true. So say it, be it, do it, prove it. It's more than survival of the fittest. See, I want to witness the street fighter turn freedom writer success story. Read about the hell boy who found heaven with paper and pen, who abandoned the stale for some fresh air, who doesn't care about being bulletproof because life to him is worth more than 50 cents because she, she has sense to know that while tomorrow isn't promised, tomorrow never dies. See, these guys, they don't create wills because they think they don't have anything to leave behind. But when I look into their eyes, I see that there's a future and that it's bright. I see that fight to stay alive, the fight to do what's right, that fight to push weight off his shoulders so he can stand tall, proud, loud, and say it loud that he's a made man because he made it out of the maze of alleyways and now his options are wide open and now her options are wide open because she's focused on the light at the end of the tunnel. Gave up thinking of herself as a bitch or a hoe, added up all the X's and O's so now she knows a woman's worth. And see, we as poets somehow find it worthwhile to inspire these uninspired when all the while they should be inspiring us. Yes, some are as large as 10 acres, others slightly over five. That's 264 feet by 900 feet of addresses, a standard U.S. city block, be it Maryvale, Chicago, Houston, or Detroit. All of these rectangles house potential writers who eventually can come to grips with life being more than a war game. They're called a duty to brainstorm out of the mundane who assume that addresses are more than numbers and more like monologues and it's just a matter of time that those in this writer's block will speak it, live it, use it, believe it's their right to question everything except their potential, but especially these damn boundaries. Thank you. Yeah.